Hello friends, welcome to SQL practical question series. So here is another interesting question which I received from one of the subscriber. So the question here is, we are given a table which contains a sequence of numbers. But the thing here is that it's not a continuous sequence. There are few breaks in the sequence. And the expectation is, we need to write a query to group the sequence such a way that within each group we need to display the uh, minimum and the maximum number of the group for example so here is a sequence like 1 2 3 and there is a break so 1 2 3 forms a group then 5 after that it's not continuous then 7 8 9 is a continuous after that 11 and 12 is a continuous set followed by 15 15 and 16 finally 20 so what we need to do in each group, for example, from 1 to 3, we need to print starting range is 1 and the ending range is 3. Since 5 is a only one number in that particular group, we just need to print 5 as the starting as well as 5 as the end value of that group. So within 7, 8, 9, obviously 7 is the starting value of that group and 9 is the ending value. Similarly, from 11 and 12, we need to print 11 as the starting and 12 as the end value. So this is the expectation. First, let me tell you what is the logic I am just going to follow to write the SQL so that it is easy for you to follow while I am showing you the demo. So what I am going to do is, I am just going to print the row number along with this column. For example, in this case, here is a sequence. So C is nothing but a a name of the column along with this information I'm just going to select the row name pseudo column also so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to subtract the column and the row name value it's a simple subtraction so you will get a value something like so in this case if you see <coughs> 1 minus 1 okay it is 0 same way 2 minus 2 it is 0 similarly 3 minus 3 it is 0 so in the next case, it is 5 minus 4, we are getting 1. Same way for the next set, 7, 8, 9, if you see, we are getting 2. See, the intention here is that now we are able to find the group. If you see clearly, so this forms one group. That is, a, you can say group 0. Similarly, here is another group. That is, let's say group 1. Similarly, 7, 8, 9 falls into another group, nothing but group 2. So once we form the group, it is very much easy for us to find the minimum value of that group and the maximum value of that group. So it's very simple. It's just an aggregation. We need to use the minimum and maximum group function to just get the minimum value. of. For example, in this case, within group 0, 1 is the minimum value. We just need to print 3 is the maximum value. Similarly, let's say within group 3, 11 is the minimum value, same way 12 is the maximum value. So this is what we are going to <coughs> get. Okay. Now let me show you the SQL uh, so that it is easy for you to understand now. Okay. I'm just creating the table. I'm just populating the same test data, whatever I've showed you here. Data are inserted into the table and I'm just querying from the table okay now you can see here we just have all the information fine now let me select the column okay so along with that i'm just going to select row name you can see that along with the column value we are just now printing the row name pseudo column now what i'm going to do i'm just going to subtract the column value and the row name value okay now you can clearly see we just got the kind of grouping here so this is what we are going to use it to group the data so now what i am going to say anyway i am not interested in the row name now i just want the column name column value and the group information so now what i can use i can see minimum of column comma maximum of column since it is a group function we need to use the group by class so group by the condition that is C minus row num. That is a column uh, value minus row num value. Now if you execute it, 
we just got in some uh, order so just use the order by class order by let's say one i just want to order it by the first <coughs> column now if you can see for the from the first group we got the minimum value as one and the maximum value as two same way in the second group we got the minimum value and maximum value as y because it's just the only one value present in that particular group similarly in the third group we got seven to nine anyway we are not interested in c minus ronum in the select class so we can even remove that let's just give a meaningful alias here let's say this is minimum range maximum range range value okay so so it makes more uh, meaningful when we display the output fine okay so we just saw how to get a, a grouped information that is the uh, starting and ending group value of a missing sequence number so this is what we just now saw i just have a question for you suppose if you are given just a reverse of this query for example if you are given an input table which contains the starting range and ending range and the expectation is you need to write a query to get this sequence output it is just a reverse of the uh, scenario what we just saw i would suggest you to write a query for the sec this scenario okay i will explain how to achieve this output in the next video please stay tuned if you want to uh, get the link of all the interview question you can just go through this link the link is given in the description and if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching this video